Nomenclature of epoxides. Epoxides, also known as oxiranes, are cyclic three-membered ethers where we're talking two carbons and an oxygen and we can have H's or R groups. So a three-membered cyclic ether is an oxirane, also known as an epoxide. Four-membered cyclic ether is an oxetane. A five is an oxalane or furane. And a six-membered cyclic ether is an oxane. So you can have up to four R groups, or you can have four hydrogens. Ethylene oxide is the simplest epoxide. And epoxides also show up in these natural compounds like disparlure, the sex pheromone of the female gypsy moth. I bet you always wanted to know that or paraplanone B, the sex pheromone of the female American cockroach. Aside from being um, a component of bug sex hormones, epoxides are also important synthetic intermediates. As far as the nomenclature goes, you can either name it as an epoxide or you can name it as an oxirane and both are considered um, suitable systematic names. So if you're naming it as an epoxide, you're treating the epoxy group as a side chain on the parent, which has five carbons for the longest carbon-carbon chain. And then we have a methyl group and an ethyl group. And so the parent becomes 2,3-epoxy pentane because that 2,3-epoxy part, that three-membered ring, the oxygen is bonded to carbons 2 and 3 of the ring. And then, of course, there's an ethyl group on carbon 3, and ethyl comes before methyl. The methyl group is on carbon 2. So 3-ethyl, 2-methyl, 2,3-epoxypentane. If we choose instead to name the same compound as an oxirane, then oxirane is the parent chain. And in an oxirane, the oxygen is always number 1. And then the two carbons are numbers 2 and 3. And we decide which one is 2 and which one is 3 based on which will give us substituents with uh, lower locants. And in this case, since we have four substituents, we're going to have 2, 2, 3, 3, no matter what. And so we do the tiebreaker to make it so that the ethyl groups are in carbon 2 and the methyl groups are in carbon 3 because D comes before M in the alphabet. So, two ethyl groups, two methyl groups, and it becomes 2,2-diethyl, 3,3-dimethyl oxirane. Here's an exercise for you. Pause and work it. Two ways we can name this. First, let's name it as an epoxide. So we count the carbons. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or we could count left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'd, we're not going to get lower locants either way. There are four substituents. 
but what we want to do is choose right to left and that's because ethyl comes before methyl so its name as an epoxide is 4-ethyl 5-methyl dash 4 comma 5 epoxy octane so that was naming it as an epoxide to name it as an oxirane again since ethyl comes before methyl We're going to number, the oxygen is number one always, and then carbon number two will be the one attached to the ethyl, and carbon number three will be the one attached to the methyl. And so we have two ethyl, three methyl, 2, 3, dipropyl, oxirane.